If you use PowerPoint Designer, I'm sure you have faced some of these problems. I'm going to solve all seven problems. If you don't use design ideas, you are missing something. Watch this video first and then come back. The first problem, I don't have a designer button at all. That means you don't have the correct version of Microsoft Office. How do you know the current version? File, account. You should see something like Microsoft apps for either enterprise or business. If you don't have that, talk to your IT team. In the meantime, check on the browser version. Sometimes you may have it on the browser version, but your desktop version may be old. So use it from browser version. There's another technical thing. There's something called connected services. Those are off and that may be the reason. Again, talk to IT team. The link is given in the description. The second problem is design a button itself is disabled. Commonest cause is you don't have an internet connection. The second one is you have not selected one slide properly. You may be in slide sort of view or you may be in a single slide view, but your cursor may be in between two slides. This one is easy to solve. Third one is I have the button, but it is not giving me any ideas. Commonest reason is the layout is wrong. Layout called title or title and content works best. Even if you have the layout correct and you have put some additional objects, again it may not work. If you're working with pictures and trying to arrange them, designer does a very good job of that, but it requires officially four, but actually up to eight pictures. So if not working with pictures, reduce the number of pictures one by one and try again. And one common reason nowadays, if two people are editing the same slide, then to avoid conflict, PowerPoint will not show design ideas. When the other person moves to a different slide, you will start getting design ideas. Fourth one, yes, design ideas are coming, but I don't like them. Now what do you do? I strongly recommend that if you use design ideas often, you should have a helper PPT running. Create a separate presentation for design ideas only, which is the default template, so layout conflict doesn't happen. Add the content there, try design ideas, and maybe you get better ones. This helper PPT has one more use. Have you noticed that some of the smart art you get in design ideas is not available in the default smart art? So this helper PPT can be a repository of smart smart art you have discovered using design ideas. Do you know that the best suggestions come for absolutely new PPT first slide? So try that as well. And eventually, if you do get a better idea, just copy paste the slide to your base PPT. The fifth problem is, yes, I've got the ideas. I like the slide, but there are some elements in the slide which I don't want. And I can't touch them. I can't even select them. That's a simple solution. Go to Home tab, Editing, Select, open the drop-down, Selection Pane. When you have Selection Pane, it gives you a list of all the objects on that slide. And you will notice in the last column, there's a lock. So some of these objects are actually locked. So if you don't like them, unlock them, select them, delete them, move, do whatever you want. The sixth problem is, yes, everything is fine, but the template is not matching. I have a base template and the designer template is completely different. It looks odd. Again, use the helper PPT, create it there, and then copy only the desired stuff into your template. Problem solved. The seventh problem is a reverse one. I have a PPT already. One of the slides is based on designer ideas. And I like that slide. That looks beautiful. My other slides are looking dull and boring. So I want to apply the new design to all my slides. Very good thought. How do you do it? Well, two options. Do you want to apply the new design to all the slides? Then you go to the design tab or menu, open the drop down, look for this presentation section. In that, you will see multiple slide masters, one of which must have come from this designer slide. So identify that one, just click on it, and it will apply the design to all the slides. The other option is you want to apply that, but to specific slides. So select the specific slides, again go to the same place, this presentation, identify the design template, right click on it, and say apply to selected slides. That way you have more control. So that is how all common problems related to PowerPoint Designer are solved now. I'm sure you found this relevant and you are going to use it somewhere. Great.
But our responsibility doesn't end there. Yes, I said our, mine and yours. Because there could be millions of people out there who can benefit from this content. I have already put the content out, but that is not enough. YouTube needs to know that this content is good and you can help. How? First like it, ask me some questions. If I miss something, tell me, I'll be happy to create content. Share it with as many colleagues and friends as you can. All these actions make YouTube confident that this content is good and it will share it with maximum number of people. And that's how both of us can make the world a more efficient place. Thank you. See you next time.